today we're going to do um, a standing hamstring stretch and then work a little bit on gait training, all right? So you start in mountain pose. And you're going to take your right foot out in front of your left foot, about a foot, all right? Your shoulders, your hips, your heels are in line with each other. There's a wall behind you. There's no hiking of the shoulders. Remember, the earring, the shoulders aren't earrings. They stay back and down if you're going to gauge anything and gauge your core. So the front leg, I want you to quad set, which is push the back of the knee down. What you're doing is just really activating the quad muscles, the muscles in the front of the thigh. Don't bend like I just did. Flex your foot so you're bringing your toes as close to your shin as possible. You're gonna bend the other leg. So my right leg is in front, my left leg is in back. I'll show you. You're gonna sit back in a chair. See that? It's a very subtle hinge. And breathe out. That's a nice hamstring calf stretch. Breathe out, breathe in. Come up, two seconds. Drop that front foot, both feet are flat, hips, shoulders still in line. Let your hips go forward, shoulders go back. Breathe out. Breathe in, come forward. Sit back in the chair. All right, shoulders are level. Shoulders and hips are level. If there was a wall in front of you, if you had headlights, they would, lights would be right level in front of you. All right, that's the wall. So reach your belly as close to your thigh by bending the bent knee even more. Breathe in, come up. The next one, you're gonna come up onto that tippy toe of the back foot and roll to the top of your foot. Come back and sit back. It's a good way for shin splints. If you have neuromas, right? Those tibialis muscles get really super tight. So now the front leg, you're gonna bend when you roll to the top of that back foot. Straighten both legs, roll to the toes of the back foot, flatten that full leg, right? The back leg is now straight, the front leg is bent a little, now shift the weight. The front leg gets fully extended, foot is flexed, sit in the back chair, breathe out. Now you can advance it by bringing your hands above your knee, below your knee, around your feet, and breathe. Come up, just it all day. When you need a break, this is our little stretch break, okay? Rolling to the top of your foot is a little difficult if your shoes on. It's the only hold back of this. But when you get home after working all day, working out, before you run, before you do anything, try this. Always correct your posture. Stand, perfect posture. Your head, shoulders, hips, and heels back against that wall behind you. Take your foot, your left foot in front of you. Fully extend it. Bring the toes closer to the shins. Quad set. Push the back of the knee to the ground. Engage the front muscle. Bend the back legs and the hips back. Shoulders and hips face forward. There's a tilt in your pelvis here. Right? You're trying to get your belly to your thigh. Breathe out, hold. One, one thousand, two. Don't squeeze with your toes. Drop your front foot. Hip forward, shoulders back. This is a great psoas stretch. Now make it one motion. Go one, two, breathe. Hip, two. Don't hook your neck. Get that length, okay? The next part of this is sit back in a chair. Breathe out, come up. And then when you drop, come up onto that tippy toe, the back leg. Sit back, breathe. Come up. You're doing this for mobility or dynamic warm up here. This is the cadence. And breathe. Two, come up. One, two. You can roll to the top of the back foot here. So it's back. Send the hips back, stand up, come forward. Not only are you doing that, when you do that stretch, you can now add an extra squat and bring the top of the foot to the ground, roll. Here, see that, just copy, breathe. So shift, split-legged stance, front leg is engaged. Foot is up, sit back. Come up, drop your feet, front foot as you do, you're on your tippy toe of the back foot. And you can roll to the top of the foot of the back foot. Still maintain that length and alignment. Then you can sit back in the chair and bend. Nice. Beautiful. All right. And then remember, you're going to practice the gait. So it's heel strike, roll forward, same thing. You're going to come up. Now this foot becomes the front, and you push off that back foot. All right? Heel toe. Just Even if you just practice this heel toe, a lot of people have hip and shoulder issues, ankle problems. Um, flat feet because they don't articulate their ankles and this is a good way a lot of us walk like this it just it happens and there's this gate that happens that i'm trying to do right 
So do this, practice this um, at least a couple times a week. 